So when I hear that this fan base is being called a community, I think that that is incredibly accurate just because everywhere you look, be it online or at shows or anything, there's always someone you can turn to, there's always someone that you can relate with and basically just be friends with. Um, like I've, I've never met someone on Instagram or in real life or anything where I feel like they don't share some interest with me. I mean, obviously we both enjoy the same kind of music, which is always a plus, but there's also a whole lot more interests that go a lot deeper than just this band, especially within the click artist community. Just, um, obviously they have an artistic, um, they have an artistic side to them that I know most of my friends like here in Bozeman, Montana don't have. And so it's really exciting when I can go online or Snapchat someone or text someone in this community and just be like, hey, like, I'm trying to do this one thing. I don't know how to do it. You know how to do it. Like, I have no idea. And they'll get back to me and they'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, let's do this. It works great. And I try it out. And it's amazing. And it's just a great outlet and a great resource to have in your life it is this little community. I mean, you're all basically friends because of two guys who started playing music together in Ohio. And I think it's really amazing that all these people can come together, be it at shows or online or basically wherever, and just immediately have this friendship. Um, sometimes those friendships can get really big and really like momentous in your life. Um, I mean, I flew to Toronto, Ontario over the summer um, from Bozeman, Montana, and got tattoos with the girl that I had met via Instagram because of this band. And so now we both have little planes on us. And I think that's great. I mean, I we we made this bond over this band, and we have this lifelong friendship that, um, to me, is like you, invaluable. Like, you can't put a price tag on that. I originally started off making click art. This is the first thing I ever made. And as you can see, it's just gigantic. And whatever was going through the little 17 year old Echo's head, obviously it wasn't smart thoughts because why would I buy something this big? Um, but yeah, like I started branching out into, um, basically I made better artwork first, <laughs> which is always a positive step forward. And um, I basically just started off making more artwork with just animals in it because, like, if you screw up an animal space, the the lion or the the sheep or whatever you're painting is not gonna know that its face is screwed up because it's a lion. But like, if you screw up Tyler and Josh's face, everybody's gonna know. Like, everybody knows what they look like. You screw them up, like you're kind of screwed. So yeah, I basically just kind of messed around with animals for a very long time, and then I started branching out. And like, the first time I ever painted Tyler or Josh without like them being animal fine or something in that sense um, was actually these guys here which is um, from their rock sound come over here um, we have this piece up here on the wall that you can see like in the background is like kind of more my style more like messy and chaotic and whatnot, but then the guy's face is actually um, a skeleton piece that Katie did that I just overlaid on top, and so that helped me to kind of branch out my style a bit more. Um, definitely starting off doing art for 21 Pilots has helped me branch out to doing art for more bands and different bands, different artists, that type of thing, which has brought me into even more communities of fans and artists alike within these other artists and whatnot, um, musical artists I mean, and obviously none of them even compare to the scope of the click artist community. So wherever it is that I am in, in five years, whether it be designing planes for Boeing or for Lockheed Martin or for Gulfstream or for anybody really, I hope that I'm also able to do click art and other art for musical artists in my free time. So I think that would just be an amazing life to be able to do your dream job and then also be able to have this amazing copy on the side.
there goes Dwight. <laughs>